In 1162, Zhao Go, Emperor Gaozong of Song, renounced his throne. From the time of the Jinkang incident in 1127, his life had been one long retreat. Now, he was finally withdrawing from public life. Throughout his 35-year reign, the dynasty he founded had struggled against the invading Jin. But it was generals such as Li Gang and Yue Fei and the indomitable common people who had managed to hold the line. They had defeated the Jin again and again, saving half of China from invasion. What was it like to live in this time of tears and strife? In Shangchu, Henan province, there are still many buildings from the Ming and Qing dynasties. Below the ground are the remains of six ancient capitals. In the northern Song dynasty, Shangchu was called Nanjing, southern capital. In southern Song, it was Yingtianfu. It was in Yingtianfu that Zhao Go, the first emperor of Southern Song, ascended the throne. In April 1127, the Song emperors Wei Tsung and Xin Tsung were captured by the Georgians, who then withdrew to the north, leaving behind them a buffer state, Da Chu, under the puppet Zhang Bangchang. Zhang proved so unpopular that he had to seek support from Empress Dowager Ming the banished spouse of the former Song Emperor, Zhe Tsung. Finding that Zhao Go was the only remaining descendant of the Song imperial family, she tracked him down and declared him the rightful emperor of Song. Zhao Go subsequently established the Southern Song dynasty as the direct heir to Northern Song. Zhao Go was the the Zhao 所以理论上这个皇位大爷就落到他头上Early in Gaozong's reign, the Song court was divided over the war with Jin. Gaozong appointed the general, Li Gang, as Grand Chancellor. Yet Gaozong himself and the anti-war faction, including Wang Qianshan and Wang Boyan, were secretly planning to flee to South China. Li Gang trained and equipped Song soldiers and restored Song's military strength. His troops were joined by anti-Jin militia from Hebei and Henan. They won battle after battle. Li Gang also defeated bandit gangs, made up of deserters and stragglers from the Jin armies. But Emperor Gaozong ignored Li Gang's advice and even demoted him to commoner status. Li Gang served as Grand Chancellor for only 75 days. 赵构在应天府就在商丘宣布继位那么任命他为开封留守因为当时开封还在这个宋朝这个掌控之下嘛他曾经十多次上奏章希望赵构能够回到首都就回到开封去
。那么那段时间，他对开封的防卫的经营也是很成功的，所以他在任留守期间，金国没有再派兵南下。这是跟他的当时在开封地区的守卫工作是直接有关系的。我想他当然他一生是有些曲折了，但最后这一段这个经历吧，作为开封留守的经历，是他一生最风光的一个东西，一个阶段。After the demotion of Li Gang, Emperor Gaozong fled Ying Tianfu for Yang Zhou. General Zong Se. Who was in his 70s sent 24 requests to Emperor Gaozong to return to North China and resist the invaders. On his deathbed, he cried three times, "Cross the river!" The people of Kaifeng, who had suffered occupation by Jin, mourned the death of Song Se for three solid days. Kingdom方面，其实一直都有，就是在战略上一直也有分歧。就是他他内部的这个派别当中也有，比如说，嗯，我们是把宋灭了呢，还是说就抢一把就走呢？另外还有当战争进行到一定阶段的时候，我们这
One, Southern Sung and its people shall be subordinated to the authority of Jin. Two, the boundary between Sung and Jin starts from the middle reaches of the Huai River in the east and ends in Da San Pass in the west. Three, Sung is to pay Jin tribute of 250,000 taels of silver and 250,000 boats of silk every year. This was the notorious Treaty of Shaoxing. I think the Shaoxing Treaty was a Dan 这个仇其实还是应该记忆的金正平要消灭南宋恐怕也不容易了那南宋当然要打回去这是少金可以的一个我想最大的历史影响。Fangbo Pavilion was once part of Dali Se Prison in Linan, modern-day Hangzhou. Dali Se was also the seat of the Court of Judicial Review, the highest legal authority of Southern Sung. On the 27th of January, 1142, Jiao Go, Emperor Gao Tsung personally decreed that Yue Fei should die in Dali Se prison. Yue Fei's son, Yue Yun, and his subordinate, Zhang Xian, were executed in the Linan marketplace. The intersection of Qingcheng and Hubin roads. In 1993, when Qingcheng Road was to be upgraded, Local residents asked the government to repair and restore Fangbo Pavilion and erect a statue in memory of Yue Fei. Yue Fei joined the army at the age of 20 and was executed at 39. He devoted himself to defending his country from the Jin invasion. The Yue army was disciplined, well-trained and brave. The Jin said it would be easier to shake a mountain than to shake the Yue army. In a letter to Qin Wei, one when Wu Ju specifically demanded, execute Yue Fei, and then a peace treaty can be secured. Yue Fei did not die on the battlefield. Rather, he was killed by the ruler of his own country, which he had devoted his life to serving. His end was tragic. Tales of this patriotic general have been passed down from generation to generation. The Chinese have grieved his loss for a thousand years. Yue Fei is too clean. He is not greedy, he is not greedy. You know, this is a very bad thing. The Song Chao people say that the people of the people of the people need to be clean, be clean. They say that the connection, the connection, the connection, the connection, is for the people of the people. 那些个道德不约束武将，他们希望这些武将
是贪婪的、愚蠢的，然后才是好控制的。岳飞他不像个武将，他又不是个文人，然后他又那么年轻。其实有一个更重要的原因，岳飞跟高宗之间没有私人关系，就他们之间的私人信任其实没有建立起来。这岳飞现在呃，大约。讨论最多、争议最大的就是谁杀他的？秦桧杀的还是皇帝杀的？呃，有的人说呢，秦桧杀的；有的人说，哎，哪有那么简单的？皇帝不点头，秦桧的不敢杀，等等，对不对？那么就行政程序来说，像秦这个岳飞这样的一个大将，那宰相你权再大都是不可能杀的。皇帝没有旨意，一个宰相敢杀大将，他现在绝不可能的事情。Set on begging Jin for peace, Emperor Gaozong executed Yue Fei and sidelined the generals who wanted to fight. After Qin Wei died, Gaozong warned civil and military officials more than once that it had been his own decision to negotiate peace with Jin. He would not allow anyone to take advantage of the death of Qin Wei to raise objections or shake established policy. The Treaty of Shaoxing was very costly for Southern Song. It had to pay Jin a huge amount of tribute every year. Emperor Gaozong thought that giving Jin so much would guarantee lasting peace. He didn't realize that this was wishful thinking. The dearly bought peace lasted for only 20 years. 由于在战略思想上。根本就没有这样的警惕性。宋朝没有，我觉得宋朝，哎，甚至一直到南宋，就一直是在那么强的北方少数民族的武力压迫之下。但是这种战略警惕，宋朝一直不够，应当居安思危。宋朝在，在在内政的居安思危上做到了极致。但是就是在外交上，在对外关系上，这个居安思危实在是太差。In 1161, the Jin ruler Wan Yanliang again invaded Southern Song. The terrified Emperor Gao Zong planned to flee by sea. One of his ministers, Chen Kangbo, reasoned with him and persuaded him to stay in Linan. Secretly, however, Gao Zong went on making preparations to flee aboard a ship. The famous general Yu Qi, who had often fought against Jin, was now over 60. His forces were weak. In the Huainan and Huaibei regions, they were defeated. In 1162, Yu Wenwen. A civil official commanding the Song army on the Yangtze River front succeeded in repelling the Jin navy, which had planned to cross the river. After the battle, the Jin ruler Wan Yanliang was assassinated. So Jin's ambition to invade Song was finally crushed. Emperor Gao Song was tired of war. He retired from the throne. And went to reside in to show palace. The Plum Blossom Monument is a landmark in Hangzhou. Named after the Ming Dynasty painting, Plum Blossoms with Stone, it is engraved with the history of the Shou Palace during the Southern Song Dynasty. Located in Meishi Park, the monument is a replica made from a rubbing of the original monument, which no longer exists. The replica was built in July 2007, and the rubbing is stored in the Westlake Museum. The wall of the northern precinct of the Shou Palace is at the foot of the monument. The Shou Palace was larger than the Imperial Palace, and its rear garden was more beautiful. Emperor Gaozong, who lived to be 80, 
stepped down at the age of 55, passing the throne to Yushun, Emperor Shao Tsung. He retired to the palace saying, I am tired. Emperor Taizu of Sung once warned that future generations should be wary of generals interfering in domestic affairs. He forgot something more important, that when a foreign enemy attacks, it is the generals who must defend the country. To forget about war is dangerous. Those who do forget war will perish. Those are the melancholy but memorable lessons of the battles between Jin and Sung.